With a strike of a gavel, nursing homes in Texas dodge fines from President Joe Biden's vaccine mandate. And a Democrat is stepping away from the lieutenant governor's race. KXAN's Ellie Hernandez sat down today with the Texas Tribune to find out the reasons behind these two major decisions were made this week. Okay, Cassie, a federal judge last week blocked the Biden administration's COVID-19 vaccine mandate for healthcare workers. How has that move impacted Texas nursing homes? Right, so for the states, uh, some 1,200 nursing homes, they're now able to continue business as usual, essentially. Uh, the vaccination rate among Texas nursing home staff had indicated that the state could have seen uh, an exodus of tens of thousands of skilled nursing staff uh, had that mandate gone into effect. Um, in other words, this judge, uh, you know, the judge's decision last week has helped nursing uh, homes avoid laying off, uh, you know, large sections mm -hmm. uh, of, of their employee base. So. Um, it will certainly be interesting to see how the issue continues to play out. Um, that judge's decision is, is, you know, essentially temporary relief for Texas nursing homes. Right. Uh, the race for the next governor of Texas, at least one candidate has already announced that they're dropping out of the Democratic run. Tell me a little bit about that for lieutenant governor as well. And what was Matthew Dodd's reasoning for ending his bid to hopefully take on Republican Lieutenant Dan Patrick? Yeah, so Matthew Dowd, you know, a former George W. Bush political strategist who had thrown his hat into the Democratic primary for lieutenant governor, uh, announced uh, that, you know, he's ending his campaign just uh, days before the candidate filing deadline. Uh, Dowd, who is white, uh, said he was dropping out of the race uh, to take on the, the current lieutenant governor to make way for a more diverse field of candidates. Uh, with, Dowd, with Dowd now out of the race, uh, I think it'll be interesting to see if anyone else uh, jumps in. Uh, Carla Braley, for for example, who serves as vice chair of the Texas Democratic Party, has teased an announcement that's coming soon as it relates to a potential bid uh, for lieutenant governor. There's always uh, some last minute surprises, so it will be fun to watch. Always fun to watch. Cassie, thank you so much for watching it with us. Thank you.